Leone was pitch perfect when she came on the scene in 2006. She shone well above the other contestants on The X Factor. She attended performing arts schools and received vocal training from as early as eight years old. And she was taught guitar and piano at school. She is a mezzo-soprano with a range that spans over four octaves, although she has worked on strengthening her lower range over the years, and she's known for practicing operatic skills on a weekly basis. She first wowed the UK public with her amazing vocals, and then the world after Simon Cowell and Clive Davis entered into a first-of-its-kind global career launch and her debut single, Bleeding Love, was released in the USA and worldwide. She hasn't released an album since 2015, but she is always in demand for her live performances. All of her shows are about her voice, not dancing or any theatrics, simply her voice. All singers have to deal with minor illnesses from time to time while having commitments that they need to fulfill and having to make the difficult decision to either push through or rest. Nobody likes to cancel shows. Fans spend a lot of money, not just on tickets, but on travel and even accommodation as some come from out of town. Canceling a show can really put their fans in a predicament, especially if the show is canceled last minute. So most singers push through the sickness, but unfortunately, this just ends up causing further damage even permanent damage is possible. A vocal coach would typically advise rest, but it's also a business, with many people behind the scenes counting on the artists. Pink famously performed a national anthem at the Super Bowl while she had the flu. Leona herself has done shows while under the weather, pushing through the sickness and continuing to perform. While admirable, this could cause further damage and make it even harder to recover. On these occasions, she would have no doubt needed vocal rest immediately after completing her tour dates. After her labyrinth tour, she took some time out saying, after I went on my tour a few years ago, I definitely had a while of having to get my voice again on track because it was really, really taxing on my voice. As well, I was going through some emotional things in the past few years that definitely, psychologically, has an impact on the voice. Every time I feel stressed out or anything like that, I automatically get sick and get throat take or whatever. But I feel like on this record, it was a release. I felt like I was in a good place and I was working with an amazing vocal producer, Toby Gad which really helped me bring out the best in my vocals. Could this have contributed to a decline in her voice that some have noticed over the years? Singing while sick or when you're not feeling your best can lead to poor technique too. If you're a singer or aspire to be one, you're gonna wanna avoid doing the following. Poor technique can cause a singer to become unsteady and even cause one to lose their range over time, as well as permanent damage. Poor belting technique Belting refers to singing notes in your head voice range with the power of your chest voice. Belting incorrectly using poor technique is similar to yelling where a person's voice feels damaged after doing so. It can lead to hoarseness, nodules, and even a vocal hemorrhage. Although belting has the same force as yelling, it's yelling in a controlled way that does not cause damage to the voice. Bad belting happens when you use too much chest voice on your head voice notes, pushing through with the thickness of the vocal cords. This results in straining and singing off pitch, and those who are aware of this can hear it. As for Leona, there's been many times where she has nailed the belting technique perfectly, and of course on off days, maybe not so much. <laughs> Leona, 
and overly forced vibrato is another example of poor technique. This sound is supposed to come naturally and it's a beautiful sound, but when forced, it is damaging to the voice and sounds uncomfortable and results in a deep throaty sound that can cause loss of range. But of course, Leona has a beautiful vibrato. Trying to sing out of range is another example of poor technique. It's not out of the ordinary for a singer to struggle with a note that they are usually able to sing with ease. Rather than singing around the note, they still insist on trying to reach it. And this is when damage occurs. This is more likely if the singer's voice is fatigued or they're dealing with a sickness. If they're having an off day, it's best to avoid certain notes rather than risking damage. But of course, they're not going to want to feel defeated, so they may just try and go for it. Tension while singing is also an example of poor technique, and some tension has been seen in some of Leona's performances. Tension in the jaw and tongue can be quite prevalent with singers. This is natural and sometimes can't be avoided for whatever reason. This can lead to notes sounding forced and strained and also damage the voice. But could the real reason for a potential decline in her voice be due to ill health? Leona has been a vegetarian since the age of 12. She made the decision to give up meat after visiting a farm. She's a known animal lover and once turned down a million pounds to open for the summer sales of Harrods because they sold fur. Some reports say she went vegan in 2012 in an interview with BuzzFeed, she said, I call myself a vegetarian with vegan tendencies because I always go between the two. If I do have eggs, I'll have free range. I make sure I know where the dairy is coming from. We, we offered you a cake, but you can't eat them. No, because I'm vegan. You're vegan. They're yeah. full of eggs and butter. Yeah. So it's all right, Bill. Such a shame. <laughs> no, I'm really sad. But around 2015, she started to refer to herself as a vegan. So she did go vegan around 2015 or 2016. There is a big difference between being a vegetarian and a vegan, just to make that point. I've been vegan for only two years, but you're a long-term vegan, right? Yeah, yeah, so I've been vegetarian since I was a kid, um, <clears throat> but vegan for about five years, I'd say. Um, it was a very hard transition for sure because I loved cheese and I loved eggs and all eggs. It was eggs for me. In 2017, Leona stepped out to reveal her dramatic weight loss when she attended the Mercury for Animals Hidden Heroes Gala in Los Angeles. She did look noticeably thinner, but some just said she looked more toned. Her appearance did seem to have changed over the years, and many speculated that she had had work done on her nose a few years prior. There was actually a study done in Iran that looked into how having a rhinoplasty could affect a singer. The study found that singers are more likely to sound more nasally up to five months after having the surgery. And on the Dr. David Gilpin blog, it says that having the procedure can affect the voice, especially during healing. But ultimately, there's no way of knowing for sure how the singing voice will be affected long term. It says any changes are likely to be subtle and many singers even claim their singing improved and well-trained singers should have no problems. Dr. Barbara Lutz, who hadn't treated Leona, waded in and said, it appears Leona has had the bridge and tip of her nose thinned. But at the time, a spokesperson for Leona denied the rumors, saying suggestions she has had cosmetic surgery are total rubbish. Those who have commented on changes in her voice have said at times that she has sounded more nasally. Could this be an effect of having work done on her nose? Leona revealed the following year that she was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease, an autoimmune condition that affects the thyroid gland. It causes chronic fatigue, nausea and pain. And uh, basically means that my body was making antibodies that were destroying my thyroid in an essay to Glamour magazine, she said, I was feeling very sick and had chronic fatigue and these really bad pains in my neck and throat. I didn't know what was going on. It was a pretty hard time. Dr. Isabella Wentz, 
said the vegan diet may be problematic with Hashimoto's as it can exacerbate blood sugar issues, cause gut problems and contribute to nutrient deficiencies, especially with iron. Iron is essential for thyroid hormone production as it converts T4 to T3. And although there are iron-rich plant foods such as spinach, these contain the non-heme form of iron, which isn't as easily absorbed or easily utilised by the body. It was making me very, very sick. Um, I was also diagnosed with um, some other imbalances in the body, uh, which again were causing very bad symptoms. And at the end of last year, I was literally bedridden and just very, very ill. While autoimmune thyroiditis is usually associated with excess iodine, hypothyroidism can be induced by a lack of iodine. Since vegan diets tend to be low in iodine, due to the avoidance of seafood, dairy and eggs, vegans can be at a greater risk of developing iodine deficiency, which is linked to hyperthyroidism. When Leona was asked about her condition, she said that she believes it may have been caused by exposure to chemicals in beauty and hair products. She stopped straightening her hair and made lifestyle choices. When I was first diagnosed, I was absolutely devastated. I felt very scared and alone. I could hear my body telling me that I needed to slow down. I also started to feel tired during performances. I began taking medication, but also turned to Ayurveda, my mum is a master herbalist, to help heal my body naturally. And of course, there are people who eat meat who also have issues with their thyroid. And many people do feel better on a vegan diet compared to the standard American diet, but it's the long-term implications. And Leona has been vegetarian stroke vegan for decades now, but perhaps it was switching over from vegetarian to full vegan that may have caused some nutrient deficiencies and that led to her health problems. When you sing, you sing with your whole body. So of course, throat pain and fatigue is going to affect singing and performing. And as she said, she struggled with the energy to perform. There were some performances where fans noticed she wasn't at her best. But in the 16 years or so that she has been performing, she's allowed to have a few off days. She has had many amazing performances, too many to count, throughout her career, despite her health struggles. In 2016, she did Cats on Broadway, night after night performances, and a review said she had a rich and powerful voice. It seems now that her voice can be inconsistent at times. But Leona herself said that her voice has changed as she has gotten older. But she's only 37. It is in recent years where fans have noticed that with some performances, there have been some issues with the strength of her voice. Just to be with you and fix what I've broken. My baby's coming home for Christmas. I've been up all night inside my bedroom. Every singer may experience some breathing issues for whatever reason when singing certain songs. It's not as prevalent with experienced singers though. But of course, if somebody's having a bad day due to fatigue or illness, that can easily affect their breathing technique. Breathlessness or poor breathing technique can stop a good note in its tracks. When we hear a vocalist under singing their signature songs, Many assume that their voice has declined and perhaps they can't sing their songs as easily as they used to. However, we forget that it can simply be a way to preserve their voice, especially if they have a whole tour to get through. At the first sign of discomfort, it really is best to start taking precautions, such as skipping certain high notes and not pushing the voice to the limit. Dare I say, some vocalists even lip sync for this very reason. But I don't think I've ever seen Leona lip sync. I could be wrong. For the few performances where fans have noticed some decline in her voice, there have been many more amazing performances. Leona had a baby recently and is back to performing. She recently performed for Vogue Arabia and looked absolutely stunning in couture. She was invited to the Middle East to perform her classic hits. 
and she herself has said that she's still working on her voice to improve her range, in particular to strengthen her middle range. Leona postponed her Christmas tour due to her pregnancy, so she'll be performing at the end of this year, 2023. Something to look forward to. As many buy tickets to hear that amazing voice. Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts below, you know I read the comments. Like and subscribe for weekly videos. And don't forget to click the bell for more.